Well, today we have a very interesting video about Switch 2 rumors and going into all of this, because we're covering like three or four different rumors out there. Uh, I want to remind you guys that we need to take all of this with massive grains of salt. Uh, there are varying levels of believability with some of these rumors, and I want to make sure that we approach this in the correct way. It is really exciting stuff, of course, because I am excited for the Switch 2, but we have to always keep that in mind in the back of our heads that, hey, we don't know what's really going on, right? Until Nintendo actually shows us. Like, when is the Switch 2 going to get revealed? I don't know, but we have a rumor around that today. Uh, and uh, that rumor may or may not excite you. I have no idea. But what I do know is that we need to first address the stuff that we reported on a couple days ago. Because while we got that video out and I was really excited, there's an exciting update to it. But also some clarifications we need to make. Because I haven't actually talked about those clarifications in a video yet, only on live stream. So we're going to dive into that as well. But before we do, I want to remind you guys we are on a road to 150,000 subscribers. So if you want to go ahead and hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all things Nintendo Switch 2 and Nintendo, I would appreciate it. First, let's go ahead and dive into an update we have on our report from two days ago. You guys remember these images that we leaked out here uh, that were a really big deal. It led to like 40,000 views or so on the video. Well, here's the thing. We have some updates on this. So these CAD image files here, this one and this one and you know, all of these ones down here, these are indeed made by a fan. So supposedly they are just 3D renders that were made of the actual uh, model itself. Now these right here, this image and this image turn out to be true. These are real images. This is a real PCB. And what we have learned since our original report two days ago is that this is a PCB that is dated to October of 2023. So what that means is this is likely a prototype model, possibly a dev kit. Possibly this is just what they were handing out to third party accessory makers, because it does seem to be that this came from a third party accessory maker. And this could have been what Nintendo had given them in order to make new controllers and stuff that could use this new rail system they have going on, or I guess press fit system is the better description. Cause you notice there's nothing on here that works, but possibly the board could receive power, which could enable some magnets here, which could then enable third parties to test out controllers and make sure they fit. So this does appear to be something that was a prototype that was probably sent to uh, third party uh, accessory manufacturers late last year. So that's actually really cool because it does mean that this is real. It just means it has nothing to do with current mass manufacturing or anything like that. So this is kind of separate from those mass manufacturing leaks, but still really, really cool. This stuff is legit, but it's notable that things on this could be different. As an example, there's that extra USB-C port. Maybe that's not in the final design might be in the final design. Maybe everything here is in the final design, but it also might not be. So it's just a good thing to keep in mind that this isn't a final design we're looking at, but rather a prototype that was intended for third-party accessory makers to prepare their stuff, especially, you know, officially licensed ones that make like Nintendo branded stuff uh, for launch. So there is that. And, you know, that's cool just to have that updated and clarify what exactly we're looking at. Literally, these were legit leaks. They just weren't exactly what we thought they were. Uh, but... Because of that, it leads to our next point where we get to talk about this Chinese YouTuber who took those CAD files, claims they've had them longer than they've been leaked for, and 3D printed them. And I believe it. This might have been 3D printed a while ago. 3D printing can take some time. And it turns out that we now have size comparisons and potential new information about the Switch 2 because she claims to know some things I find quite fascinating. So we go over here and it's this Chinese YouTuber right here. I can't pronounce any of this besides the X and Z at the end. Uh, 285,000 subscribers. This is the video that's been blowing up. I don't know if you've heard about this stuff yet, but throughout this video, she's showing off here uh, what she claims to be, ba-boom, right there, the Nintendo Switch shoe. Now, it's not perfect. Uh, if you listen to everything she says about it, um, as an example here, this is uh, this film we see here that's supposed to represent the screen is apparently just the only size she had available. Actually, if you look at the edges here where you see this lighter gray, uh, that is actually how far the screen goes out according to the models. So this screen is still not even technically the full size. It goes out further, making these bezels significantly smaller. Uh, notably in here, though, she has some size comparisons 
and uh, it, it, it's pretty interesting. Like this is what it is uh, right here next to you know a Switch OLED. Uh, so quite fast. So you can see it, it's a pretty beefy boy. So now we're just over here uh, at Nintendo Leaks. We took some images from it here, and you see like the new Joy-Con. Like that's a significantly bigger Joy-Con. It looks like a monster in her hand. She clearly has some smaller hands because I know how small the original Joy-Con feels in my hand. Uh, and then you can see here the backside comparison. And again, these are 3D models, like this little area here. That's just some rough printing marks and stuff. Um, and then you can see the top comparison here as well. Uh, so obviously some pretty fascinating stuff. But what's interesting is she talks about like what this top USB-C port supposedly for. She acts like she's saying this based on firsthand knowledge that this top USB-C port is for an optional camera accessory a detachable camera accessory that maybe doesn't come with the switch she doesn't know could be sold separately but she theorizes this is her theory that it's going to be for uh, motion sensing accuracy so you know when you have it in docked mode you can have uh, maybe some ir sensors on the switch or maybe it just uses camera tracking and you get better motion controls so that's what she theorizes it's for she doesn't claim to know but she does say that this top usb c sport is specifically for this camera uh, detachable camera thing so i find that to be uh, interesting she does say overall the the uh, joy con uh you know these joy con here do have more accurate motion controls in general so maybe her knowledge of that or supposed knowledge of that means that you know hey uh she's guessing that maybe the camera is part of the reason there is superior motion control on the new platform the switch too but again all of this is obviously uh stuff that we can't verify necessarily and i don't know the veracity of this chinese leaker or this chinese uh youtuber i have looked into her account i've asked around no one seems to really know if she really has like deep connections at manufacturing or accessory manufacturers or whatnot uh she is pretty popular so there is that i don't know if popularity is a good way to measure things i also want to note that there's a lot of people out there um because she talks about in her video how the switch 2 will be revealed at a conference next month i find that to be interesting she, re she says it like seven times in the video how the switch 2 is going to be revealed at a conference and she's saying it very matter of fact like not rumor why she does talk about some rumors in her video references them but she doesn't talk about a rumor in this case she just says it's going to be at a conference conference does that mean nintendo direct does that mean um an in-person presentation i have no idea so take that for what you will but she's saying that there's a conference next month she's not saying when other people out there are speculating that maybe monday uh this upcoming monday could be a chance to reveal the nintendo switch 2 mostly because it's nintendo's 135th anniversary now i don't put a lot of stock in that that's just speculation from the internet but uh that is a possibility I also want to throw out here that it's entirely possible that this whole video was 1,000% speculation-based, uh, like some of our videos can be at times, like we have some evidence, but then the rest is speculation. Uh, I just throw that out there because, again, I don't know her content, and I was relying on captions uh, to really do that. But then we have to get into some really weird stuff that is like a rabbit hole. We're about to go down a big rabbit hole. Uh, most of this stuff, uh, look, what you're, I'm about to show you I, is fake. Uh, this original part of the story is definitely fake. But what if I were to tell you that there is some belief out there and belief coming from supposed insiders that the Switch 2 is being revealed on October 10th. And it all started by this thing circulating online. Uh, we have this screenshot on YouTube showing Nintendo of America, 9.59 million. First look at Nintendo Switch 2, October 10th down here, almost cut off. Uh, you'll see up here that, you know, the profile image is missing and all of that. Um, for obvious reasons, this is probably fake. Uh, it's very easy to fake a screenshot like this. Forget Photoshop. You don't even need to do that. You just got to go to view source on any YouTube video and you can go in there and edit everything. You can edit anything to be, to say whatever. You can go to the first look at Nintendo Switch original trailer and you can edit in a two. Uh, you can edit out the profile picture. So all of this can be done. This can literally all be done just through view source editing. Uh, so this is probably fake. I, I, I would say 99% of this is fake. Making fake things like this is not hard to do. That being said, there is some weirdness around this thing uh, because Ember on Main, which is an account over on X, uh, did talk to me briefly about this. And they are someone who has leaked like Marvel stuff in the past. 
uh, pretty accurately as well. In fact, back in 2021, they had a very specific leak. Um, but according to them, and I, I have permission to show this DM, uh, it's not really about the screenshot itself at all. Uh, the screenshot may well be a hoax, and I obviously believe that it is, but rather it's about that October 10th date in the screenshot. She has claimed that the trailer for it has already been uploaded to YouTube. Now, this is interesting because if we go ahead and look at this, we show that the YouTuber insider access tied to massive leaks, you know, as detailed in this article here, uh, GTA, Nintendo, Sony, and even popular YouTubers like KSI have been having their information about their pre-uploaded videos leaked online by literally YouTube employees. A Yoshi game is an example here, and here it is right here. Uh, you know, ended up leaking online through a cell phone pic that clearly shows the admin right here, the admin.youtube you know, address, which is obviously an employee-based address. Uh, Google has said that they have addressed all of these issues at that time, but we have no idea if YouTube has cracked down much. And this matters because if there is a pre-uploaded trailer, like if a trailer has been pre-uploaded on Nintendo's channel, a date could be seen by a Google employee and leaked out there. So again, you know, Ember on Main is claiming that yes, uh, there is a pre-uploaded trailer for this already on Nintendo's account. And it was actually not from an employee though. If you go back and look at what she said, she said that it actually was from a forum scraper. Uh, and this forum is frequented by fellow YouTube or former YouTube employees. Uh, I have not been able to really figure this out. I've not been really able to find this forum or any additional information. Of course, uh, places like this often don't want to be found. So there is that. If it was so easy to find it publicly, everyone would be all over it. Uh, but hey. Uh, the interesting part, though, is that she's not the only one claiming that this data is real. If you actually look at the post over on Gaming Leaks and Rumors Reddit, it links all the way back to this account over here, this Mushbert. They're claiming this person might have been the first person to put that image up uh, and delete a bunch of tweets, and they have deleted a bunch of tweets. But it says, a hum, last night uh, was led on as an experiment showing just how truly over-anxious we are for Nintendo to reveal something. So then you might, okay, this guy's just trolling, right? Sources come from all over, not a screenshot. I think it's time we all take a deep breath and let Nintendo be Nintendo and no, I didn't post it on Reddit. Again, I'm not affiliated with the users that posted the links in the screenshot. So he's saying the image he posted has nothing to do with him. It could have been posted by somebody else first. It's not his image. Um, but he does say, please do not crucify them. And let's wait for October 10th together. So kind of suggesting that, yeah, we need to wait for this stuff. Now, again, this user has been on here, you know, has barely any tweets. Almost everything's deleted since June of 2023. This user might not know anything. They might just be believing the original information that Ember and others have put out there. All I know is this situation just keeps getting deeper and deeper. Like the more and more I dig into this particular facet, the more twisting roads that things seem to be going down. And I, I just have to throw out there that I think that a lot of this might just be hogwash, but the problem is I can't seem to 100% confirm that this October 10th thing is just being made up. And that's the problem. I actually wasn't even ready to record this video. I was still digging into the story and still finding new avenues to go down in order to find this mystical forum and confirm that this stuff was there. So in the end, obviously, when you start getting into a rabbit hole that's this deep, I start to just go, man, at some point, I just have to come forward. I just have to bring the information to you. And I take this with heavy grains of salt, guys. I don't know that October 10th is any more likely than next week, Monday, any more likely than any other date. Uh, but it is something being thrown out there. So it's one of those, I think we should just keep it in the back of our minds going forward that if something does happen on October 10th, then we can come back to this story and be like, oh, well, it turned out that stuff did leak yet again from YouTube's back end uh, for the date. Now, maybe it's just a lucky guess. It could be coincidental. And that image is obviously fake, but we'll have to wait and see, obviously, the veracity of that story. Uh, but it is nice that I was able to update you guys, obviously, on the prior story, able to throw in a few more things. Uh, another thing is some people might note that Nate the Hate did a podcast today, Nate the Hate, a well-known Nintendo insider. But I did check out the podcast and know there's no new information on Nintendo Switch 2. It's just a talk with Celia from Yacht Club Games and Modern Vintage Gamer, who we know works at Limited Run Games. And they just had a nice conversation about all the improvements and changes they would like to see 
on the Nintendo Switch eShop on Switch 2. Nobody was speaking as if they had access to it. Everyone was just speaking on what they want to see different. So it was just a bunch of opinions, uh, which is fine. That's what our show is all the time, right? Uh, not necessarily this, but our podcast. It's all opinions. Nothing wrong with shows like that. But if you're hoping for new information from Nate to Hate, there's a big nothing burger for you. Maybe there'll be something next month. I don't know. All I know is I am Nathaniel Rubblejance from Nintendo Prime, and I am really, really, really excited for Nintendo Switch 2. And you know what? Whether it's October 10th, whether it's Monday next week, whether it's September 30th, whether it's March of 2025, whenever they reveal this thing, I'm ready. Oh, baby, I'm ready. We have some plans for when it's revealed. We have some special shows for when it's revealed. We have some deep analysis to do and a whole bunch of other stuff. And finally, at some point, we'll get to talk about games. At some point, when it's revealed, we'll actually get to talk about the games because that's what really matters. The hardware can be exciting. The new generation's exciting, but it's exciting because of the games, and I can't wait. That's the number one thing that's most exciting about a console reveal is the games. So, whew, can't wait for that. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. I am Nathaniel Robojets from Nintendo Prime, and I'll catch you in the next video.